I'm going to give you four exercises that you can try. These exercises will help you warm up, will also help you gain technique, better technique, be how to sing better, um, and they can be part of your practice. So, first exercise is we're going to hum. That's a good way to warm up if you need to. Um, let me, uh, if anybody has any questions so far, let me know. Uh, this would be a good time to answer questions before I get into the exercises. Um, and welcome everybody that joined a little late, <laughs> better late than never. <laughs> welcome. You can, you can probably, I think you can watch the whole episode afterwards too, right? But if you have any questions, make sure you share them through the chat or, or the question and answer um, button you have there. Either of those is fine. Um, all right, so these exercises. You can include this in your routine. They're good exercises. To warm up, you can do this humming exercise where we go. I recommend stand up so you can see the screen. Relax your shoulders, neck, and everything. And try this. Try sing along with me. I'll have you. Now, whatever octave. It can be the same octave I'm singing or higher octave. If you, if you have a high voice, you can go. Have a lower voice. All right, here we go. When you do this, see if you can get as much sound as possible. It's hard because your mouth is closed, right? But if you support it with the diaphragm, if you breathe in, Mm, and learn to try to focus that sound. You'll feel vib this part of your face vibrating. Mm, all this. Mm, mm. Just learning to get a louder sound with a hum is training your diaphragm on how to support sound, which is what we need as singers. We're going to go higher now. Try it and see if you can get better and sound better, get more projection. Make sure you're lined up, that you're not in weird positions. When you do exercise, you search. You're searching for how can I make it more resonant? How can I make it sound better? Even the hmm. See if you can find the way to make it sound louder but not forcing anything. Here we go. You can work your way down too. All right, so that's a great exercise to warm up and to focus on getting the notes in tune and focus on and supporting with your diaphragm so you get more sound. Next one. This one, some some of the vocal exercises that teach, teachers use often um, can sound really silly. So, and it's, but there's a reason why we recommend. They're, they're funny sounding, but they can help. Lip trills is one are one of those. Lip, a lip trill is this making that sound. Looks funny, sounds funny, but it's a good warm up to re relax and warm up. When we sing, we use the lips, we use the mouth, we use the muscles, uh, right? So it's good for warm up, but it's also a good training because one of the problems that beginners have is not supporting their sound, right? They'll sound, they'll sing when the sun goes down like that. Just another lonely boy in town. It, when it's not supported, it sounds kind of weak. It doesn't sound as good. When you support it, you don't have to belt out, but it's supported. It sounds different. Every night when the sun goes down, just another lonely boy in town. And she's out running round. It's a better tone. It sounds more professional. How do you learn to support sound like that? Well, through exercises and voice lessons. You know, I can help you with that if you want to take lessons. A good, competent voice teacher will teach you that. 
will help you with that. One of the ways you, you learn is do an exercise like, like lip trills. So, because you can't do the sound unless you have enough support. It'll be like this. You won't be able to. So you have to actually put pressure with the diaphragm. You don't have to worry about think visualizing the diaphragm. Just experiment and try try to make the sound. It's just like a truck, a, like an engine, right? Doesn't matter what note. Just practice that until you get it. Let the lips be very loose so they flap. See? And you'll see, as you get better at doing that, you will be supporting better. It's a way of training your diaphragm to support the sound. And then you can try singing a little exercise like this. With actual notes. That will train, you'll see it takes quite a bit of air and it'll train your diaphragm to, if you start feeling dizzy, stop, breathe, relax, and then come back to it. Now, I combine that exercise with a little scale. I do this is a three-part exercise. It's a great exercise because it has the humming or the lip, I'm sorry, the lip trills, which train your diaphragm. It has a mum bum mum 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 which trains you to sing those vowels. Ha 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 and it has guck. G-U-C-K, guck. This, if you look at my larynx, gug, 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 gug. My larynx goes up and down. It's good to learn to control that too a little bit. When we sing high notes, ah, it's easy for that to go up and it chokes your sound, ah, like this, that strange sound. Ah. And in order to, you want to open up, you want to lower, lower the larynx, create space. Instead of uh, uh, see, the sound comes out easier. That's what training does. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Instead of oh, that's a really forced sound. That's again, you want to relax those muscles. That's the kind of thing that you can learn when you take private lessons. Uh, but these exercises will help you with that. So the exercise is like this. <laughs> Ma 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 ga 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 ga. Ready? Sing with me. Ma 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 ga 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 ga.